Hello there, everybody. It is, what is today? Today is Saturday, <laughs> February the 8th. And uh, we are here again, still reviewing the book, um, A Year of Positive Thinking, Daily Inspiration, Wisdom, and Courage by Cindy Spiegel. And again, I remembered to put the link in, up above uh, to go get the book. And also, my website's there, but I'm going to talk about that in a minute. All right. So, let's go back to what we talked about yesterday. We talked about a broken heart and a shining light. So, the, the theme was that um, even though your heart might break into, a, like, you would think that it's broken into a million pieces, what happens when you come out of that? It's your, all your light shines. So um, when you decide to surrender the hurt, then your light will come out and it will shine and it will be brighter than ever and you can move on with your life. So now today's topic is words matter. Let's read that. Okay. The words you use determine the world you inhabit. If you say you can't, you won't. If you assume you can, you will. Be deliberate with your language because what you say often becomes your truth and your truth becomes your life. I have so much to say about this. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, that I've been working on as far as uh, my personal development is watching what I say about anything. Uh, am I perfect at it? No, it's a journey, right? So when you say, I can't, I can't do this. I don't know why, but I can't do this. And you keep saying, I can't do this. The world hears you. The universe hears you and says, okay, you can't. And typically when you say you can't, you don't, right? You get caught up in, oh my God, I can't do it. Oh my God, I can't do it. And so you've convinced your mind you can't do it. So if you catch yourself, let's say it that way. If you're uh, having a difficult time doing something, don't say, I can't do it. Say, oh, well, this is a challenge. Let me see how I can get around that or let me see how I can do this. Well, let me find some help in doing this. Don't try not to say, I can't because that's what kind of breaks down your um, energy in actually getting it done. So if you assume you can though, you will. So here's, here's some of the things, some of the practices I've incorporated, right? So I get in the mirror and I say, Vivian, you can do anything. You can do anything. And you know, because, you know, I've had some difficulties um, adjusting to certain things. Like um, I am in an affiliate marketing business, right? So understand, and I just started uh, about a month ago. Understanding the terminology was like, oh, my God, what, what are they, what are they talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. And I kept saying, I have no idea what they're talking about. And as long as I kept saying that, I had no idea what they were talking about. Um, I had to ask. I was trying to hunt around on Facebook. And, but the, the answer was right there in front of me. I just hadn't really opened my mind to, to get it, to receive it. And I kept telling myself that I didn't know. Well, there's a way to know, right? Research, asking someone, all of that. But I was so caught up in, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to fail at this. And, and I was saying these things to myself. 
when I stopped saying those things to myself, I started making money. And I was like, oh my God, that this is amazing. I'm doing this. Um, so, and that's why I was gonna go back to my, my link there. So the one of the products that I'm marketing is it's um power of the mind, right? So part of the program is that meditation and positive thinking and positive self-talk will help you achieve your goals. And it has been so transformational for me, which is one of the reasons why I started this these lives. Amazing, right? So whenever uh, you start to talk to yourself in a negative way, turn it around. You know, turn it around immediately because what's going to happen is if you keep doing it, then those blessings that are there for you will say, oh, okay, then he or she doesn't want it. I'm going to move to the next person. You know, it's like a, um, a talent. When you have a talent to do something and you don't use it. And then all of a sudden you realize, wait a minute. I don't have that talent anymore. You know why? Because you rejected it. It says, oh, oh, okay, they don't, she doesn't want me, so I'm gonna go to the next person. Yeah, I remember my sister at one time had said something about uh, creating this product um, because she noticed when her children were little that whenever she would ride around in the car, then they would fall asleep, right? And she wanted to figure out why. Now she's uh, a nurse, and so she's in kind of in the medical field, but she's really smart, so she should have been a doctor, but we won't go into that. But anyway, <laughs> she said, um, it's white noise. So what if, what if I could record it and put it on, a, on one of the things that you hang over the baby's um, crib, and so we wouldn't have to jump in the car all the time. And they, they could hear that white noise and they would fall asleep. Well, she did nothing with that. A Couple of years later, somebody came out with it. You know why? She did nothing with that. That was a blessing. That was, a, that was something that God was giving her as a way to you know, help her children, help other people, all of that. But because she didn't take advantage of that or take action with it, it moved on to the next person. That idea says, oh, wait, she didn't, she's not doing anything. Let me, let me go over here. So whenever you have what you might think is a crazy idea, think about it. And then, I mean, if you don't do anything with it, watch out for it because it's going to show up because somebody else will take it and do something with it. You know, just, I mean, just regular everyday talent. Sometimes we neglect them. We don't nurture them and stuff like that. Like, remember I, I, I told you guys before that I used to sing, but I haven't sung in a while. I haven't done anything. I haven't sung in church. I haven't sung anywhere. Well, I kind of lost a little bit of that ability. I mean, I can sing, but not anywhere near where I used to be. And so the reason why is because I was not using the talent that God gave me. It's like that with anything. You know, you don't use it, you lose it. Like studying a language. If you study a language, like I studied Spanish and uh, French in high school. I didn't have anybody to speak Spanish or French to. So eventually those skills or that language just kind of left me. I didn't enhance it. I didn't keep studying it. So I lost that ability. I, I know a few words. I know how to count to 10 in both languages. But <laughs> other than that, pretty much nothing because I didn't keep nurturing that talent or that gift that God gave me. So 
just be very, very deliberate in your language, especially when you're talking to yourself, whether it's in your head or out loud or whatever. Be deliberate about what you say to yourself because what you're saying to yourself becomes your reality, right? It's, it's the message you're putting out to the universe. You know, if you're constantly saying you can't or you're constantly saying, well, I'm broke, or you're constantly saying, I can't afford it, then the universe hears you and it says, well, no, you can't afford it. Okay. Money runs away. <laughs> you know, so just, just think about that. Think about everything you say to yourself. I don't mean drive yourself crazy doing it. Just kind of be, you know, a little bit more cognizant of how you speak to yourself. And make sure that what you say to yourself is positive. Be good to yourself. Love yourself. You know, we talked about a couple of days ago, really just loving yourself, appreciating the moment, being, living in your own truth and being present today. Don't worry about what happened last week, a couple hours ago, last month, whatever it was. Live today. Be in it. And live your desired future as if it's your present. Don't talk about the negative part of the future because that's not what you want. That's not what you're trying to manifest, right? You're trying to manifest that positive future, that those things that you want or the, that person that you want or whatever. So start speaking it into existence. Because what you say can really, really affect your life. So that's my take on it. What's yours? Leave me some comments, like and share this video. And I will be with you again tomorrow at 7. And I wish you peace. I wish you love. And I love you guys. Have a great one. Good night.